Welcome back my dear students This time we are going to explain how to find the least common multiple Before we explain how to find the greatest common factor You can revise the previous video for uh, greatest common factor Now we are uh, trying to explain the least common multiple or LCM you can find the least common multiple LCM by using a number line making a list or by using prime factors we are going to focus on these two method methods making a list or using prime factors so if we want to find the LCM of 2 and 3 for example <coughs> we know that <coughs> multiples of 2 multiples of 2 are 2 and 4 and 6 and 8 and 10 and so on multiples of 3 3 and 6 and 9 and 12 and so on so we can note that 6 is a common multiple of 2 and 3 also 12 is another common multiple of 2 and 3 and we are focusing on the least so the least common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6 this is a number line method now the listing method we all know that multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and so on and multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 adding 3 all the time and so on <coughs> Now look at this 6 is common and the 12 in red is also common but we are focusing on the least common multiple so it is 6 Now find the LCM of 14 and 21 using prime factorization we all know that 14 can be factored into 2 by 7 21 into 3 by 7 so we can write down 14 equals 2 multiplied by 7 21 equals 3 by 7 I cannot write the 3 down the 2 or down the 7 I will write the 3 here and I wrote the 7 under the 7 7 by 3 we must order uh, align we must align the uh, prime factors now from every from every column of prime factors we are going to take one number whether it's repeated or not means from this one we will take the 2 from this one we take only one seven and from this one we will take the three we multiply them to multiply by three six by seven forty two so the LCM is forty two let's write now for the two and six two is already prime so it is two 6 can be written as 2 multiplied by 3 so the 2 equals 2 the 6 equals 2 multiplied by 3 from every column we take a number so 2 and 2 I take the 2 here is 3 I will take the 3 2 by 3 is 6 so the LCM least common multiple is 6 
and you can notice that this least common multiple 6 is divisible by both 2 and 6 now let's take the 4 the 4 is 2 by 2 the 5 is already 5 the 10 is 2 by 5 so the 4 can be written as 2 times 2 the 5 I cannot write it under this one or this one so I will write it here the 5 <coughs> so the 10 is 2 under the first 2 then 5 under this 5 now as I told you from every column we are taking a number so I must take 2 and 2 and 5 like this so least common multiple from this column we take 1 2 and from this column we take 1 2 and from this column we take 1 5 so 2 by 2 by 5 which is 4 by 5 means 20 so LCM equals 20 and really 20 is divisible by all 4 5 and 10 now let's consider the 3 and the 5 and the 7 let's do it here 3 is already prime so it is 3 5 is already prime so just 5 7 is already prime so just 7 so now I will write it 3 equals 3 5 equals 5 7 equals 7 and from this column I take the 3 from this column I take the 5 from this column I take the 7 3 by 5 by 7 3 by 5 15 15 by 7 105 so the LCM equals 105 moving on now we will solve uh, the guided practice let's remember together uh, what were we doing to find the GCF so find the greatest common factor of 8 and 32 of course some students MashaAllah, they got the skill to find it mentally so they can say quickly that the greatest common factor of 8 and 32 is 8 because naturally 32 is divisible by 8 okay but when we want to show our work 8 will be factored into 2 by 4 this 2 is dropped this 4 will be 2 by 2 so 8 is 2 by 2 by 2 32 will be factored into 4 by 8 this 4 will be 2 by 2 and we know that the 8 will be 2 by 2 by 2 so now the 8 equals 2 times 2 times 2 the 32 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times another 2 the greatest common factor take only the common factors the common prime factor what are the common it's clear that the 2 is common and this 2 is common 
and this two is common so we take it as one two 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 and is equal to eight so the greatest common factor ccf equals eight now for the 24 and the 60 the 24 we can say that it's 4 multiplied by 6 and the 4 is 2 by 2 and the 6 is 2 by 3 the 60 it is 6 by 10 and the 6 is 2 by 3 and the 10 is 2 by 5 so we can write the 24 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 and the 60 will be 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 now 2 is common another 2 is common another 3 is common nothing else is common 2 by 2 is 4 by 3 is 12 so the greatest common factor of 24 and 60 is 12 3, 12 and 18 mentally it is 3 let's see how 3 will be factored into 3 because it's already prime now the 12 as we said before 12 is 3 times 4 and the 4 is 2 by 2 the 18 the 18 is 2 by 9 and the 9 is 3 by 3 so we can say that 3 is equal to 3 and the 12 is 3 by 2 by 2 so I put the 3 under the 3 and here the 2 and the 2 18 is 2 by 3 by 3 so I put 3 under the 3 2 under the 2 and 3 here outside so the only common of the 3 as you can see of the 3 numbers is 3 so we take 1 3 and this is the GCF so greatest common factor is 3 now for the least common multiple 7 and 9 7 is factored into 7 because it's already prime 9 will be 3 by 3 so the 7 is equal to 7 the 9 is equal to 3 by 3 we avoid putting 3 under the 7 for the least common multiple we are taking a factor from every column means from this column the first column we will take the 7 from the second column we take the 3 from the third column we take also the 3 so it's 7 by 3 by 3 7 by 3 21 21 by 3 63 so the LCM equals 63 now for 6 and 5 for 6 and 15 6 will be written as 2 multiplied by 3 15 prime factored into 3 times 5 take the 2 take 1 3 take the 5 it will give you 30 so the LCM is equal to 30 
obviously 9 will be 3 by 3 and the 12 will be 2 times 2 times 3 and the 15 it will be 3 multiplied by 5 so we need the least common multiple from every column we take a factor so we take the 2 then this 2 then the 3 then another 3 then the 5 2 multiplied by 2 4 4 multiplied by 3 12 12 multiplied by 3 36 36 multiplied by 5 180 so the LCM for 9 12 and 15 is 180 as you can see dealing with the greatest common factor and the least common multiple is very easy and simple you need to pay attention just in the greatest common factor we are taking the common only the common uh, prime factors repeated in the columns but in the least common multiple from every column we take a number moving on The movie house gives away a $5 coupon for every four movies purchased. They give away a bag of popcorn for every three movies purchased. How many movies would you have to purchase in all before receiving both a $5 coupon? and a bag of popcorn at the same purchase so this one is applicable for the least common multiple because we need to know when exactly we are going to what you have to purchase in all before receiving both five dollar coupon and a bag of popcorn at the same purchase So the two numbers we are going to focus on are because we will have five dollar coupon for every four movies we purchase and they give away a bag of bag of popcorn for every three movies purchased. So focus on this number, the four and the three, and we need to know what is the LCM of four and three the three is like a three the four is like two by two so take the two take the two take the three two by two by three is twelve so how many movies would you have to purchase in all before receiving both five dollar coupon and a bag of popcorn at the same purchase so 12 movies by this we come to the end of our uh, lesson for today and till we meet again goodbye